Balto is like, yeah. I'm not expecting anything. Wow, this is good. Yeah. Enchanted was a really great film. I, I liked it. it a lot, a lot. And I think that was like my first introduction to... Amy um, Adams. Yeah, Amy Adams. And I was just like, who is this? She's so awesome. My first in- introduction to her were two things. Smallville. She was on for the Freak of the Week episode. Really? Yeah, and that's funny because she ended up being Lois Lane later. Oh, season. yeah. Um, and then my other iteration with her was Cruel and Tensions too. She played the Sarah Michelle Gellar role in the prequel, Catherine. I did not watch that film. Yeah, uh, you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Not, I figured not. I could give that one a miss, but yeah, the first one. You're good with the first one. Hello, uh, welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm Inchara Kirk, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And we were just here, you know, shooting some stuff, and I saw this trailer, and I was like, hey. Andrew, how do you feel about doing this with me? Because I haven't seen the trailer yet. And then you were like, yes, love Enchanted, which is what we were talking about before, uh, you know, we said hello. Anyway, it's all gone backwards. Super excited for this. I believe this is a show. So that'll be interesting. So yeah, let's get into it. But before we do, please, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon so you know whenever we drop a new video and upvote this video if you are enjoying what you're watching. Um, yeah, let's jump into this. I know the change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. If I learned anything from meeting a princess on a billboard is that sometimes you just have to take a leap. Let's start our new life. Pretty soon this whole place will feel like home you'll see. Aww. It's all part of wow. the adventure. It's like that's a not an adventure, that's a landfill. A land filled with adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, it's what they call a fixer-upper. Yes, once your peasants have dug out the moat and added a turret and a balcony <laughs> from which you can sing. I see it now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Melvina, Monroe, I would have sold you this house, but I deal in slightly more upscale homes. Oh. In Andalasia, oh, no. the hardest part of life is finding your happily ever after. This world's very different. If this world is not to your liking, then you must change it. I wish. What? I wish. Jumping jelly stick. Wait, how am I talking? I wish. I wish for a fairy tale life and it's all gone terribly wrong. Or terribly right. Oh. At the last stroke of 12, nothing will be as it was before. Stepmother! Uh oh. Giselle, what have you done? Oh, no. oh! That's a wicked. Wicked good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, oh, it's movie. a movie. Okay. I thought it was a show. I uh, think I got confused because it was. It said it was streaming. Yeah. Oh, that is cute, though. Wow. I'm into it. I'm into it. I, I really want to watch that. That looks like a really cute family movie. Perfect time as well. Thanksgiving. Stuff yourself with food and then hang out with your family and, and watch the film. Yeah, no, I mean, they definitely took a, a good while to make the sequel longer yeah. than I would have expected. But I mean, I'm glad we're getting because I really was so invested in the first movie. I remember we were talking about this off camera that I remember when I saw the trailer to the first movie and just the premise of it. I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to watch yeah. this. but. Amy Adams' performance in the first film, she just elevates that movie into just such an, a different level of just awesomeness. And also, too, her on-screen chemistry and her character interactions with Patrick Dempsey are just fantastic. But James Martz, he's so he's good. Awesome he, in it, yeah. He's so funny. I love him. I still think one of my favorite scenes of all time from the first movie is when you know he's, he's calling for Giselle and he jumps off the bridge and then he gets hit by the bike. I've never laughed so hard in a movie theater. I mean, that's one of my laugh out loud moments in a movie theater. This looks fun. It looks entertaining. And there also looks like a pretty interesting storyline, too, like just... Giselle living in a, in a new world that she's not used to. Yeah, she's got the family she wants, but again, just getting used to the new world and making sure her her new family is just happy with the you know the universe that that they exist in. So it's a relatable, understanding, uh, 
you know, storyline that I think we can all relate to, and it looks great. I mean, yeah. just just having the cast back alone just always will pique my interest. But it does look like a a very provocative and interesting storyline too. That looks good. It looks visually stimulating. We got a, a lot of the animated characters coming back from the first movie too, which also piques my interest. But and also too, it looks like uh, I think it was Maya Rudolph. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, for it her. looks like she's going to be a nefarious character as well. So that that always piques my interest. She's a very good actress. Uh, yeah, one of my first films I ever saw her in was Bridesmaids yeah, uh, which yeah. I loved her in. I, she's, yeah. she's so funny she in that movie great in that so I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, adding her to the cast of this and seeing how she interacts with all the characters and uh, what her character is really up to and kind of like it looks like she was maybe tricking Giselle into you know wi- for that wish or whatnot. so we'll, we'll see what happens but yeah. you know, it looks really interesting yeah I mean it kind of is the, the trope of be careful what you wish for right and so she, she wants her life to be a fairy tale but then with a fairy tale comes all the other stuff like you've got the the bad queen or uh, people kind of falling into these stereotypes that you find in fairy tales which is what i really enjoyed about enchanted like the whole premise of it was like let's take the princess out of the fairy tale and put her in real life how would she deal with being in real life in manhattan of all places like my favorite thing in that movie was when she started singing and instead of like cute animals coming it's like cockroaches and rats and stuff which we saw here in the trailer now it's like the other way around she's yeah. in the real world and she's got the family but she wants part of that like fairy tale back and so the fairy tale is coming out into the real world as well and and now she has to deal with family issues and a home and all of that so i am excited to see that and I love Amy Adams' oh, energy, like how yeah. she's so pure and sweet as as Giselle. And so, yeah, I'm excited to see more of that. And also, her character is more grown up now. I mean, I don't know how much time has passed in the world of the film because it seems like, yeah, they got married, she became a stepmother, and she's got a little baby. So it's been however many years. Like 2007 was when Enchanted came out, right? So it's been like 15. I can't do math. What yeah, 15 from release date. Yeah. But also, too, the, uh, her stepdaughter is clearly grown up. Yeah. So they're going to have to explain that there was... I mean, that ex- that's already explanatory that there is a passage of time, but... It's like, how much, though? Right, right. Yeah. Just laying off with what you said, I, I love that fish-out-of-water storyline that yeah. they gave us with Giselle in the first film. And then, kind of like you said, reversing it in this one, where, like, you know, the Patrick Dempsey and the other ones, like, they're bringing her world into this, so mm-hmm. now kind of they're the fish-out-of-water, <laughs> per se, in this, you know, kind of just because their world is now into this. So it's going to be interesting to kind of flip the script. And also, I'm really curious, too, because I thought Giselle had such a such a beautiful arc and character development in the last yeah. film. And it was really well earned. It wasn't like, ah, this is so formulaic, so generic. No, it was really yeah. well earned, which was one of the surprising aspects of that film. It was like, I didn't expect the the first uh, Enchanted film, I didn't expect it to be as deep as it was. Like, I was really shocked because I was not expecting anything from that movie. When I read the plot, I was like, and eh, yeah. I'm not really, I don't know. But again, Amy Adams' performance and the way the, the, the storyline was and the way her character developed just really got me so into that movie and I've watched it so many times since so I'm really curious to see again in this film how her character is going to develop because I think you laid it best like be careful what you wish for and like understanding you already got the fairy tale yeah. you have the you have a, a husband that loves you you have a, a, a stepdaughter who's wonderful you have a kid like that is the fairy tale or you have the fairy tale already and yeah her having an understanding of that like hey I didn't need to wish for all this and, and I'm really excited to see how that character develops into that understanding that that's going to be possibly her arc in this film. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how and fascinated to watch how that happens. In I think this film. you might have nailed it. Ah, we'll you see. You might I'm, have just given I'm away always, the entire plot the of the nah, movie. Nah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's just one possible aspect, but I'm sure there's going to be more to it. I mean, but I'm always excited to see Amy Adams and, J- yes. and uh, James Martin, Patrick Dempsey. And again, I'm very curious to see how Maya Rudolph is going to uh, add to being added to the cast as well she's a great actress so I'm, yeah. I'm really excited this looks great absolutely so you guys let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel click that bell icon so you know whenever we drop a new video and upvote this video if you are enjoying what you're watching I'm Achara Cook this is Andrew Flash Gordon ciao